this episode, we're going to be visiting our respective families and doing some Chloe projects and getting to see Chloe. Ruby. What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? Look at him. He's her. been smashed. He's been smashed. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad to miss Peter's family in Scotland, but excited to see my own, and Halloween would explain the costumes here. sister knows all the best indoor places to have fun while it's snowing outside. It was fun to brush up on my local history again. The 100 square foot pioneer homes didn't have Netflix or electricity. And plowing the fields was pretty hard. The local Indian communities canoed down the local rivers, stopping at fur trading posts along the way. And there were a few local iron mines which would have to lower help down the mine strapped up so they wouldn't struggle and hurt themselves. Thanksgiving was wonderful and they even threw in a party or two along the way. I had some materials delivered for Chloe beforehand and I made a canvas rolling cart and configured a Wi-Fi booster so that we could get Wi-Fi from over a mile away. Now that we've met up in London, the objective is to drive around the south of England to pick up some boat accessories. Most importantly, the solar panels, some mooring straps in Jimmy Green Marine, and also checking out some head sail materials at Quantum Sails. And then we'll go across on the ferry over to Cherbourg to check up on Chloe again. This Farley Lodge uh, we rented by Airbnb and it was in Salisbury. It was one of the most well-equipped and comfortable places we've ever stayed. Thank you. 
like a zombie town. Everyone is about 80 years old. And they're just milling around, doing some shopping stuff. Hard of time. They said it was going to be too stormy. Even though the ferry was cancelled and rerouted and a little extra time for us, the restaurant was really good on board. We've just arrived in Cannes having been rerouted through Portsmouth and uh, instead of Poole because of bad weather and the ferry being too small from Poole and we're now going to have to drive down to Cherbourg where Chloe is which is about 50 miles I'm reckoning something like that and thankfully when we get to Garcia and Cherbourg we'll be able to offload the solar panels that we've been delicately carrying around all throughout England. It's freezing this place. The extraction fan in the bathroom won't turn off, so it's sucking all the hot air out of the place all the time. so when the wind and the rain come at me, I can see. You can ski down the boat. Yeah. So the highlight of the trip really was to get a chance to see Chloe about two-thirds of the way in before the floorboards were put down. We were able to see all of the plumbing and electrical wiring as well as the bow thruster, the prop shaft, and the rudder. Okay, it is the middle of December and we've just visited uh, Chloe to check on her progress and her systems are being fitted very rapidly and uh, she's looking in very good shape. So now we're leaving Cherbourg on this wet Saturday and uh, we are heading to uh, back to the ferry and then we'll take the ferry over to England and catch a plane in uh, Heathrow to fly to Dublin. And then uh, once we're in Dublin, we're out of the Schengen zone, so our visa days are preserved. And uh, then we'll spend Christmas in the, uh, down at the bottom west-hand tip. 
southern west tip of Ireland where my sister Jane lives. And uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a, a drunken orgy, but that's what they do in Ireland. Uh, I'll be the designated driver. Dawn is going to be designated driver, which is important. We got a showdown with these birds. These birds are stopping us get on the ferry and they are refusing to move. They're looking at us and we're looking at them and it's all a bit of a showdown. <laughs> to stop before we get to the end here. On the return trip from France back to, the, to England, our ferry was canceled once again for weather and we were rerouted through Cannes. But Brittany Ferries was really easy to work with to get rerouted and get us back in time to make our flight the next day to Dublin through London Heathrow. Pints of Guinness. Yes. To be sure. Where are you? In Dublin. These are the Christmas lights I was telling you about. <laughs> We're driving down south towards Skull to make it in time for Christmas as we were invited by Peter's sister Jane. We'll stop at Cork on the way. We really liked Dublin, it was a young population and had a good vibe. We also really liked Cork for many of the same reasons, but it's smaller and sl slower paced and easier to move around in. To be sure, to be sure, to be sure. I'm having a pint of goodness. The general idea is to travel around Ireland clockwise, starting from Dublin, working our way down south to Skull so we can meet up with Peter's sister Jane. We chose Dublin because first we wanted to see it, but second it's out of the Schengen area and allowed us some time out of the EU without building up our Schengen days, of which we're only allowed three months at a time. There we are, just walking around the supermarket and this supermarket girl comes up and gives us some alcohol, hot alcohol. Only in Ireland. Skull is a pretty town of a population of about 700 and I spotted five pubs although I may be missing some that I didn't see. Even the neighboring town with a population of 200 has four pubs. 
we're in this little town out in Cork County named Skull. And we're going to see the Christmas tradition where people jump in the water in the Atlantic Ocean. Apparently the annual Christmas Day Swim is a fundraising event for the nonprofit COPE Foundation, which assists people with learning disabilities. Christmas dinner at Jane's was wonderful for both the food and the company. Colombian jungle here. A little <laughs> concerned about anacondas that might jump out at me. <laughs> and of course, black panthers. And the gorse. And the gorse. This is garden designed by chopping rather than garden designed by plumbing. They're completely bonkers. <laughs> So the plan from here as we depart Jane and Skull is to keep meandering up the Wild Atlantic Way, which is a 2,500 kilometer route on the west side of Ireland. And this will be the last country we visit before we pick up Chloe in March. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>